Welcome back to Let's Play Mad Max. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're low on scrap, low on water, and actually doing pretty all right for ammo. But uh, I've come to this area. God we shouldn't damn it, stop Max. here. I don't think. If I'm really lucky, this will uh, not take long. This is one of the balloon stations. Evidently, I missed something the last time I was here. A history relic, specifically. Hmm. I wonder what the check mark means, if that's not what it means. Climb you. This doesn't seem right. I don't feel like it'll be up here. Ooh, Blood Moon. Shit. Ah, found it. Hmm. Nung River Barbecue. I'm real glad I printed this out before the grid went down. I can still smell that great grub. I wonder if the days of beer and barbecue will ever return. The smell of barbecuing meat is everywhere. But not the kind you'd want to eat. Well, that's a bummer. Maybe that no one will ever have barbecue again. Well, that one maybe. I was thinking to myself earlier just today about how, uh, in one of these settings, find yourself questioning, is anyone ever going to have a bowl of a cold cereal ever again? Notice that red light directly behind, uh, Chum before. What's the brake light on this thing? Fair? I've never done one of those. Some of the real specific manufacturing types. Noted. Hold or move tracking. Whoops. Kind of shitty in here. Yeah, I think your dude's dead. No, no, he's breathing. I don't know if these people have even have any kind of medicine. You over here, please help me. Hey, Dune Drifter, I have something to tell you. Me and my child, on our way to our new master. Our rig was ambushed by buzzards, but we fled. What do you want? There's hidden things in the rig. A treasure for someone like you. <coughs> Why tell me this? 
I'll do nothing for you. I have a feeling you may yet. The rig still sits in the tunnels. Go there and see. You want me to go and look at a truck? You help me, please. Oh. Where will they take The us? tunnel is beyond the wall. They call it the Dead Barons. Dead Barons? You gotta get through that jaw first. I was meant to take this earlier. Just an observation. Nothing particularly poignant about that. All around us, the grounds were covered in wet, salty water full of life. My people believe that this water will come back to us on our day of reckoning. And then we must be ready. We must patch our ship together and make her whole once more. You believe that? They need to cling to it. And personally, I see an acute necessity to armor this wreck up. Prepping for the wave of man scum which will soon come crashing down. The war boy army. Lord Scrotus, back from the dead. Help me get the steel I need. Now, not the brown rotted sheets of wafer you find out here, but real prime steel. With it, I can reward you in armor or scrap and find plenty extra to fix up my hull. Okay. The Eastern Tunnels. That's where you'll find the steel. If there is any. The hunchback might know more. Hmm. No, there is not a close. Oh, there is. Technically, this is closer. Let's go talk to uh, Chum and see what happens. Reminds me, I wanted to check something. Oh, a new suspension. Huh. Missed something. Well, I'm almost there, so that's good. a ways off. So what is the next one, anyway? Also, Gas Guzzler. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. These make sense to me. Oh, I just checked that. Duh. Okay. Oh, wait. No? Fine. We're just off, then. Do you know of a tunnel in the dead barrens? I do. Uh, it's near Garstown. Uh, the rigs pass through there on their trade runs to Bullet Farm and the Citadel. Or oh, as the lamp flickers, be ready for another night of terror. So... God. Kind of missed where I was meant to go for a... Uh... Oh, here it comes! The mighty duster! For that second quest to find the steel. Not the tunnel, that's where I was going to find, uh... Oh, much appreciated, thank you. But the tunnel is where I was going to find the rig that uh, had some valuables on it. Oh. Man alive. On my way. Let's do that so nobody notices. And protected. 
wonder if you boost that exact moment. Does it make Chum go flying off? Get your piston down! Sharpshooter! Don't mind me, we're coming through. Dude. Can't hit that. Nah, we're just leaving. Oh! I don't barely have any water, you can have it. I'm going. Uh oh. We're uh, running. Sniper was not where I thought he was, or wouldn't have been able to hit me from that spot. Fine, I'll play along. He's just fucking dead, okay. Oh, I almost had it with a chain finisher. dazed. Which is a weird combination, frankly. Can't move that. Ooh! I should move that. Very risky to slow here. Tell that to them. Gas. I'm just gonna leave this here for the next person to find. Although I'm going to admit, I was very strongly thinking about blowing it up for no real reason. This guy's car got messed up. I didn't even run into that one. Sulfuric vent. Is that you? It is! Wow, I wasn't I actually wasn't expecting that. Let's set course for this spot. And head there first. The sky is clearer at night anyway. That's a thing that could be considered a positive. You know, no light pollution from the cities or whatever. Just a random scene of carnage. It doesn't have any health, it's just a shell. I guess it's just finished burning. I'm surprised I haven't come across more of those random scenes of devastation. I'm reminded of the beginning of the second movie where he comes across a couple of dead cars like that with some bodies sprinkled around. And Max's response is to Someone just fell off a cliff. Uh, response is to ignore the bodies completely and set up a uh, bunch of pans and stuff underneath one of the cars leaking gas lines. Oh, 
I don't know, I'm already taking on quite a lot of things at once. Yeah, second thought. I'm gonna stick to what I was doing and, uh... Try not to get irreversibly sidetracked, as I know I have a tendency to do. This game is real bad for impulse control. Because you're constantly stumbling across things you could be doing. did with all the gas once he filled up the pans. Is that about sloshing around inside your car? Track. Convoy track. I mean, it's not like it's a crime or anything anymore, but, uh... I'm gonna toss a match in the window and destroy you utterly. What is that? Balloon first, then check out the weird thing in the desert. I don't know a lot about cars, but... Kind of unnerves me the way this thing is constantly dropping embers from the uh, exhaust. Uh, how do I get in there? Just drive in from here? Oh good, it's full of assholes. Won't protect you no more. Feral. Terrible blood-curdling screams is the feral style. The ferals are bred like dogs and kept in cages. Oh, this is going to be a joy to read. All born into the ranks of war pups are checked for defects. If they prove too damaged to become war boys, they are destined to become ferals. Ferals are brought up like mangy and vicious dogs and are set loose on the enemy from their cages. A feral will never advance in the hierarchy. He will remain a human dog until the day he is too weak to fight. He will then be killed by his keepers and thrown in the maggot pit. These are swarming enemies that dash in with quick and vicious attacks. The trick is to dispose of the feral before it has had a chance to attack. A shotgun blast also comes in handy. Jeez. <laughs> Stomped on his nuts to death. All right, I didn't get it from the description, but I guess these guys are the uh, stand-in equivalent to the ghosts. I have to admit, I do find it kind of lame that all of the uh, factions have identical enemy types, just with different names and appearances. Gross. Bitchin'. That's the front door. I got turned around somehow. Man, alive. Letter, good. Hmm. I spy with my little eye. now, I guess. The Reek Hills. That's a good name for a terrible place. Shit. 
looks peaceful from afar. They're not seaworthy. Huh. I'm not entirely sure the difference between those and those strong ones is, to be honest. What's the mission objective? I guess it looks kind of peaceful from here. No sign of the war crier from this distance. Maybe they really don't want anyone getting in without being on fire. And just make sure. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's where we're going, all right. The sulfuric vent. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Mad Max when we get to that. Later.